Hey, hey, what's, hey, up? hey what's up? Today we got a 1980 Pontiac Trans Am. Hop in, buddy. This is cool. It's not just any Pontiac Trans Am. A Pontiac Trans Am is awesome. But this 1980 Pontiac Trans Am is the Indianapolis 500 Pace Car Edition. Only 5,700 were made. Robin is the owner, and um, I'm gonna go check it out. Should be right over here on the left. Oh, can you see it sticking out right there behind the fire hydrant? Oh, that just looks cool right there. <laughs> that is it. That's that's driveway art right there, dude. That is. Oh, she got a truck too. Oh my gosh, we're dialed in here. Let's go find Robin. Dude, check this out. <laughs> This is awesome. It's a time capsule right here, a 1980s time capsule right here. I'm gonna go find him. Robin! How are you? This is amazing. Thanks for having us. It's good to see you again. Thank Great you. To see you. Hi, my name is Robin, and today I'm going to show you my 1980 Pontiac Trans Am. Well, Robin, thanks again for having us out here today. Uh, I'm excited to break down your Pontiac Trans Am, but first off, when I meet car people, I want to know why, why a Pontiac Trans Am? What drew you to this car? Uh, well, not necessarily this particular car, but, you know, Trans Ams, I'm, I'm of the generation. I saw Smokey and the Bandit in the movie theater, and I was hooked. And I was never necessarily hooked on a black and gold one, just hooked on the car. Uh, and so a Trans Am, a 1980 Trans Am, was actually supposed to have been my first car, according uh -huh. to my father. Wasn't necessarily true, it was a 75 Camaro, but. Not a bad uh, first car, not, not a bad, bad first car. First car, but, uh, but this, uh, this particular pace car, I had another pace car, I had another 1980 pace car, and I bought it when I was in Northern Virginia, mm -hmm. and it was the Valley Trader. It was before the, really, the internet, Craigslist, all that, the Valley Trader when you used to get the paper. Yeah, exactly, yeah. And so this person was advertising for a 1980 Trans Am for $1,500. So I went and saw the guy, and uh, it was all in primer and pieces. I really didn't know what it was until I saw the interior, and come to find out, it was a, it was a pace car. Mm -hmm. And so my ex at the time said, you're really not gonna buy that piece of crap, are you? Uh -huh. And I said, yes, I am. So $1,300, loaded it all up, and over years, I put it all back together, got it painted and everything, but it was never really uh, going to be, it was gonna take so much more money. Yeah. And my best friend's brother-in-law said, you know, for all the money you're gonna put into that, you could go out and buy a really, really nice one. Mm -hmm. And so that's what we did. And here it is. And, and here it is. And so bought this car. Uh, this we bought this from Trans Am Specialties in Miami, Florida, mm -hmm. and had it uh, had it shipped up. We were in uh, Eastern Panhandle of West Virginia at the time, and had it shipped up. And then took my other one and sold it to Vinny in New York. He came down and bought it. <laughs> and so then we took that money. Then we bought the trailer to haul this in, to uh, to take it to shows. Well, but, let's, let's uh, kind of walk around, because it, sure. it's spectacular. You and I met at, at, at a show a couple weeks ago, and I saw it, and it was a, in a, around some other Trans Am, and it just, it pops. One of 5,700 of these were made, that and to cool. have one sitting in your driveway yes. is so cool. I mean, the color, the, the uh, Cameo white, is that the color? That is correct, and uh, the gray is, is charcoal gray, and the interior is oyster, and yes, these uh, there were 5,700 of these made, mm -hmm. and uh, this is unrestored. Ford. It has 28,000, uh, just under 29,000 miles. Which is so low for a car from 1980 yes. to have under 30,000 miles? Because That's incredible. 43 years old now. Wow. And this was uh, made in February of 1980. Mm -hmm. It was sold in February of 1980 in uh, Monroesville, Pennsylvania. Uh, we're either the third or the fourth owner. Okay. Uh, lady bought it. Uh, don't know what happened. Try to contact her. Have not heard back from her. Um, and so it disappears for a while, and then it winds up in the Trans Am Museum in West Virginia. So this was a museum car at one point. Well, that's what the guy called his like dealership. Okay. And uh, so anyway, the guy that owned that, he turned out years later to be kind of a sketchy dude. Okay. But so from there, a guy in California, a real estate guy, he buys it, has it shipped to California. He has it for a period of time, then for whatever reason, he decides to get rid of it. He ships it to Miami, 
where we found it at Trans Am Specialties, had it shipped back up to Northern Virginia, and then we moved to the West Coast, and then we had it shipped to California, where we were, and then we hauled it here. This, been, this, baby, this baby has been off the coast to coast. Several times and never logged a mile of it. Oh my, yeah, yeah, obviously. So let's kind of break down some of the features too. I love the, um, you know, the turbo Trans Am. The, uh, open up the trunk too, you know, pop yep. it right here. Yep. Gas and then the key right here. It's a little, uh, little hack if you need to get in the trunk. Up. And this also has automatic truck release. It doesn't in, really. In the glove compartment, yes it does. You can, there's little nuances too. You can tell that it's still original some, with, with the paint and everything. Um, so I love the, the logo down there on the cap. Come down around here too. I mean the decals are so cool. Such a so cool. And Johnny, do you know who won? Johnny uh, Rutherford. Johnny Rutherford, yes, he won. Won, he won it that year. And then so, yes. it, 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 if you win the Indy 500, you're supposed to get the pace car, at least that yeah. was the thing. Do you know yes. if the, the original car is still in existence? Is, is to my knowledge, so they used three. Okay. Sure, sure. They used three in the race. Okay. Uh, and then the other cars that were used uh, in support uh, were festival cars. Mm -hmm. And you you know it's a festival car because it'll have the decal right here oh, that I've says, before, that sure. says yeah. Indy 500 Festival. Mm -hmm. And I think there was anywhere between 50 and 100 of those. I'm not exactly sure. But uh, I believe the one that Rutherford got is in the Indy Museum because they have one there. Okay. So it's still in existence, it's still out there. I believe so. That's gonna be different than this one too, because the one, the pace car in the Indy 500, you think about it, there's gonna be more safety features in it. There's gonna be mounts for the TV camera and everything. There'll be some adjustments to yeah, it. Yeah, they had, uh, you know, they had the lights up the top and they had the brackets in the back to hold the flags. Oh, of course, yeah. Uh, but supposedly for the race, at least That's Pontiac, a... sure, Pontiac advertised, the only thing that they did to change it was they took off the air conditioning, uh, they lowered the, uh, I believe, the axle ratio a little bit, and uh, they put some performance tires on it, and that was it. And these were the pace car that year. They did dual pace car. They were in for the Indy 500 and also for the Daytona 500. Oh, the, so the Trans Am 2 featured yeah, too. That That's too. cool. The in, this is a spectacular interior. A couple things that that stand out. Uh, first off, yeah, 28,852 miles. Robin, that's bonkers. That is so neat to see that. Um, I also, too, I love the, the original radio in here. Yep, and cassette. A little thing with this, though, the cassette, too. A lot of these cars in the early 80s that had cassettes just had the fast forward option, not the reverse. Yep. So a little simple thing to, you know, you want to rewind your whatever the, the hot band was back in 1980, you could rewind your cassette. Uh, also, too, then you have the turbocharge up front. The lights work? Yes. So yep. normal, medium, high when it comes to turbocharge. That's a cool thing to see right there in front of you. But they're bright too, and, and is it this is the dimmer on it. Then, yeah, right? you, can turn a, you can turn them to low, you can turn them off. I prefer them on high, just because I want You want to see the lights too? Yeah, that's a cool feature. And also, the great uh, one of the cool things about the Pace car in 1980, they also did it for the 79 10th anniversary and the 81 Pace cars, mm -hmm. the Daytona, is the dash lights in these are red. Oh my gosh, that's cool. And so they're, they're not actual red bulbs, they're red filters. In the in the back, so like if you took this off, the yeah. little the little plastic piece that sits in behind yeah. where the uh, light fits in, it's red, and that's what makes it red. That is so neat. Can we see under the hood? Sure. All right. Sure. Perfect. When it, when it's uh, uh, some of them have the NASCAR logo down here, uh -huh. uh, that was just kind of a you know if you wanted to or not, it doesn't. But it, that's because it was also for the uh, Daytona. Uh, for the pace car. As far as the Indy 500, Pontiac, it, the 80s were big. So this was 1980, and I know it was 84, they had a Pontiac Fiero, because I had yes. a Pontiac Fiero. That was a Pontiac, if you think about it, a Pontiac Fiero, Fiero. was the pace car. And they're cute. They, I, they're I had one in high school. It was a lot of fun. And and the, those pace car editions were adorable. Yeah, and, I, and and yes, and you know, the great interior, the red and the, and the gray, or light gray, they were awesome. And then also to late uh, 1988 to the Trans Am. Yes, was the yes. Third generation yeah, the, 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 the GTA, paint. yeah. Spectacular under the hood. Yeah, but this is all, all original. So stickers, everything, this is all original then? Yes. So good. Well, let me put it to you this way. To the best of my right, knowledge, exactly. these exactly. are all original. I have not done anything. Uh, Can we go for a ride? Of course. Let's do it. Now, this, is, this isn't like Ron's. You know, mine, mine doesn't sound all beefy like yeah, Ron. Yeah, so Ron, uh, Ron is episode number one of Car Shops and Collections. He is the expert when it comes to Pontiac, 
and Trans Ams as well. And Ron actually introduced Robin and I. So if you haven't watched episode one and you want a history of, of the screaming chicken and just the Trans Am itself, Ron breaks it down in episode one. Ron is the guy, that yeah. is for sure. That is for sure. Sounds great. The beefy radial tires too. I mean, have you seen? I mean, just the Trans Am, a 1980 Trans Am in such great condition, the Indianapolis uh, Pace Car Edition. This is spectacular. The trunk release that Robin was talking about. Yep. I don't know if it's, it's gotta be an original spare tire. Yes, it is. Original equipment back here too? Yes, all of that's original and uh, I take these out because they blow around sometimes. And these, these are the original T-top bags. Oh, yes. So, you know, and they're, now I had these made, uh -huh. uh, but I mean, you can, the difference in the quality is just, you know, is night and day. There's a nice thick padding. But this is, know. so this is the original though? But these are the originals, yeah. Oh, yeah. It, this is a time capsule. Yeah. It's a 1980s time capsule. So those are the originals. So sorry, my truck's a mess. I didn't clean it up. This is very, no, are you kidding me? He's some of the trunks we've seen and dirty cars <laughs> we've seen. This is spectacular. <laughs> some people would roll up if they're not even expecting us. Super, uh, still original paint too, everything oh, yeah. inside here. That rumbling sound of it, I love it. All right, let's go for a ride. Four wheel disc. Hot thing in the 80s, you wanna advertise that. I don't know if I've ever had anybody sit in my back really? seat. <laughs> Gene, you're the first one. It's nice and soft. Yeah, it's nice, right? The clock still works? Does that still works? That, yeah, let me tell you about the clock. So the radio. So to my knowledge, the radio and that is still work. Now this has power antenna. If I turn it on, the antenna goes up. Sure. But because I rarely use it, yeah. uh, it only goes down about halfway. Okay. And so then I got to put a little pressure on it. So because of that, I never use the radio. Uh, and I would have to Google how to change the time on that. But my clock over here works. That's so okay. That one works. But that's neat that I have a digital clock back in yeah. 1980. Yeah, they had a digital clock. The dash is spectacular. So, uh, and I Can you tell I love this car? <laughs> I love this car too. Uh, this has rear defrost, uh, and that does work. All right. Uh, because there was a day in, uh, oh, we were up at uh, Mesquite uh, for a show, and it got rather chilly that night, and the next morning, it was just a thin layer of frost. So I said, okay, let me see if this works. Yeah. And I flipped it on, and sure enough, it, it did. And it's got the audio boost over here. And uh, so, what's the audio boost do? It just it it's supposed to give you a little more juice for your radio. Oh, it's for the, it's for the radio. Yeah, it's for the radio. An audio boost for the radio. Yeah. Very night rider-ish. Yeah. <laughs> Spe uh, speedometer stops at what eighty five. Uh, yes, and you know, and that was the times, mm -hmm. you know, yes. uh, which is why they came up with the turbocharge in the first place was because of EPA and all of these things and emissions and everything. And a lot of times this engine gets a bad rap. It, it runs hot, mm -hmm. it runs a little hot. So, uh, but on the, I look at it as actually a positive thing because, because of all of the technology and everything they use to create this, it has led us to, to you know, in baby steps to where we are now. Yeah, true. You know, yeah. the car that you drive is an incredible machine. Mm -hmm. You know, it's fast because it's an RT Scat Pack, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah, I had a 2015 uh, RT Scat Pack. I love that car. And it's just amazing. And like I said, because of because of things like this, it has led us to where we are now. Yep. And the engines and efficiency and everything else. So. And and so yes, yeah, so, I mean, late seventies, early eighties, all the speedometers they, they were capped there at eighty five. Yes. And this, so you go back in the seventies with the energy crisis, is when the speed limit fifty five really became a national yes. thing. And yes. we're we're in Nevada, obviously. And, Back in the prior to that, the rural roads here in Nevada, there was no speed limit. There was nothing that was posted here in Nevada. Out, you know, on the you're driving here outside of Las Vegas, you can go as fast as you want. That all changed with the, with the energy crisis. Um, but that's why we find so many speedometers at the time are exactly. stopped at 85. Yep, that, that is correct. AC, does the AC work? I've never flipped it on. I bought the, when we bought the car, they said that it was cold and it blew cold. Okay. I've never touched it. Even in Vegas. And even in Vegas, I uh, yeah, I don't, I haven't. And uh, so, you know what? 
Uh, Ron's going to get the car here soon. Oh, yes. He uh, yeah, he's going to do a, just a couple of things just because of uh, age yeah. and such, and replace a couple of gaskets and things. Mm -hmm. And so I'll have Ron take a look at it. Check and see if the AC works. Because, <laughs> because I, I said I've never flipped it on. I don't know. The turbo lights, you know, they're they're supposed to light up as as far as the amount of boost. Uh -huh. Now I don't drive this car fast. I I. You know, I want to look good. I don't have to drive fast. Mm -hmm. uh, however, plus if uh, you are driving fast, the cops gonna see it. Yes. This car, people but are gonna I, see it. I had an '81 Trans Am. It was a, it was also a turbo, mm -hmm. and of course I was young at the time, and I would do all kinds of crazy dumb things. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I would always hit it, and it always go from normal up to high. I can never get oh, that really? medium one to go off, <laughs> and I always tried. I'm like, okay, maybe if I just back off just a little bit and never get that medium one. It always just jump right to high. It was like a, playing yeah. a video game. It wanted yeah. to try to hit medium. So, I don't know. Let's see if it'll do it. There all we right. go! Hey! Medium high. Hit them all. I got them all! I got it! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> this is so cool. So, like I said... Cigarette lighter too? Yes. Uh, like I said, it doesn't get up and go like yours does. Well, no, but this uh, I But mean, still, uh, it, they lit that up! That cool, but the fact that, that it works too! <laughs> <laughs> I've had this car almost seven years. I've never done that. This is, I mean, interior is so cool with the, the logo right here. Stitched, yes. Is that stitched in? Yes, that's stitched, stitched in, in, and then it is in the uh, in the middle of the back seat. Uh, How was the ride back there, Gene? Well, like I said, when I sat down, it's really soft. Yeah. Surprisingly soft. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Good. I've always thought this rode pretty good. Yeah, no, right, smooth. Yeah, for, for its age, I think it's... T-tops look great, too. Yeah, now the T-tops out here, but I mean anywhere, but especially out here, woo, in the summertime, because you were just, you were talking about uh, in a show, mm -hmm. uh, a guy had a bunch of, uh, I think it was in that GTX, he had a bunch of chrome and like on the yes, handle, get, yeah. and, mm -hmm. and burning yourself. Yep. And yes, you have to be careful, because those T-tops, man, they will heat up and be hotter than a firecracker. Now, does this here get hot, too, with the... The silver? No, it doesn't. No. no, it doesn't. Is this for you, Robin? We noticed pulling in the yes. blinking speed limit yes, 15. Obviously, me. there's a reason why that's, that's here. That's for me. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm president of the Homeowners Association. Uh, are you really? I, I have Turn to, and burn. I have to set a good example. No, you don't. Oh, you can yeah. write the rules. <laughs> Smooth ride. Before we go, Robin, can you break down the truck a little bit because that's also eye-catching as well. Sure, sure. That is a 2016 GMC 3500 HD Denali. Mm -hmm. uh, and we bought this to pull our trailer that the Trans Am goes in. Okay. And this is a Indy Hauler Tribute. And uh, each, uh, each company that supplies the pace car for the Indy 500 uh, also supplies the support vehicles. And years ago, the companies started coming out with pace car or pace truck additions available to the public. In 1980, it was the uh, GMC uh, 1500 Sierra and they made uh, 300 of those. So 5,700 pace cars, 300 haulers. 300 Indy haulers, okay. yeah, and they were not uh, they were not dualies. They were just regular, just um, regular cab, and so. But they did make up a dually for the movie Cannonball Run. All right. And so this truck is a tribute to that truck. Uh, so that way, when we haul our trailer, we have the modern conveniences yes. uh, and modern safety features. Uh, when you know, because when you're hauling a trailer with a car in yep. it, you want to make sure that you're as safe as can be. And I also wanted a truck that uh, we could haul whatever we wanted. Mm -hmm. And so Comforts this comforts too when driving around. You go to a car show. Yeah. You know, I'm and, sure driving uh, a distance so, to these shows. So this this gets quite a bit of attention. Yeah, it's neat. And uh, yeah, so uh, we we really love it. A lot, of, like I said, a lot of times. This gets more attention than my car does, especially going down the road. The guys are always like, hey, love your truck, you know, and they, they really love this truck. That is cool. So, but, you know, it's just, uh, it's just stock inside. It, but if, I mean, if it's, and then when you roll out the Trans Am, it fits, yeah. it's perfect, it's yeah. perfect. So, but, uh, and I got the, uh, so this was bought plain white 
And then I got the Indy Hauler kit from Phoenix Graphics. And the funny thing is, is that actually, so this is, this bird is made to fit the hood of a 1980 GMC truck. Now you can see oh, how yeah. far it comes down onto the grill mm -hmm. of this truck, which is how much longer be a little bit that yes. nose yeah. was uh -huh. because it didn't hang off the end. It yeah. just, it came and actually there was a few inches of hood still. So how big that hood was compared Com to- It comes out to here or so, yeah. yeah. That's cool. I, I like. I do like how it kind of wraps over, though. That's a, yeah. that's cool. So that's that's what our stripe guy came up with uh, to to make it work. And uh, so, but all the striping and everything, all the decals, we we put all of that on. Other than that, it's just a it's just a plain white dually truck, but it's very comfortable. It's really cool, dude. So, but. Uh, but yeah, you talk about, uh, so they, they made 5,700 pace cars, yeah. that, that is true. They made them in two different factories. They made them in Norwood, Ohio, mm -hmm. and they made them in Van Nuys, California. And the difference between the two is in the Van, there's an N for Norwood, there's an L for the ones made of Van Nuys. And I made it my project many years ago. I always wanted to know what number in line mine was, yeah, uh -huh. right? And uh, so, there's no, there's no record of that. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, all right. So a buddy of mine, I started keeping track of them. Whenever I could find a VIN number, I would write it down because I wanted to put them on order so I could know what number mine was. Yeah. And uh, so then a buddy of mine a few years ago at Trans Am Nationals said, you should start a Facebook group. And so that's what I did. And so I have the 1980, 1981 Trans Am Pace Car Registry and now I have over 2,500 members worldwide. Yeah, really? And it's to get people to not only um, give me their pace cars, mm -hmm. what they have, but if they see one, to forward me a VIN. Because you can't do a Carfax search on a VIN like this, because this is only a 12 digit VIN. 1981 mm -hmm. is when they switched to the 17 digit VIN, which a Carfax would understand what that is. Mm -hmm. So trying to keep track of all of these things. So you're I, literally going through and building the history. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, in order they were made. Yeah. So I have over 2,000 uh, VINs for the 1980. I've got a little over 35% of those between me and friends of mine online collecting this data. And then for the 1981, it's doing much, much better uh, because the 81 pace cars for Daytona, mm -hmm. uh, they only made 2,000 of those and I have just over 1,800, so I've got 91% of That's those great. Uh, accounted for. Now that doesn't mean they're all still on the road. Yeah. It's just accounting for them all and putting them all in, a, in order. And then also to, on the um, for the VIN, the 2X87, that's an indication that it's a Trans Am, right? Uh, the, the 2X, the X indicates that it is a pace car. Oh, okay. And then 87, I'm not sure about that. T stands for turbo. All right. And the N stands for Norwood. And okay. It, yeah, and so this is one two eight three three two. My other pace car that I had, mm -hmm. the one that was all in primer and pieces, that was one two eight one nine nine. So they were probably made on the same day. That's neat, and you had them both. Yes. Yeah. Well, Robin, this has been uh, this has been a thrill. I mean, I, I love your passion for cars, and to have something like this museum quality car sitting in your driveway and taking the time for the ride along and the walk and talk. Thank you so much. Oh no, appreciate I it really very appreciate much. It. Thank, Thank you. you. It's been awesome. If you want your car, shop, or collection featured on the show, then shoot us an email at carsshopsandcollections at gmail.com. That's carsshopsandcollections at gmail.com. And thanks for watching, and be sure and subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes of Cars, Shops, and Collections.